Welcome back, gents. Let's do a proper introduction for my barreled action here. This is a Shaw Cogger VPR action that's been set with a 24 inch stainless steel barrel chambered in six arc. Let me move around to the side so you can see some more of the branding, I guess. Uh, forgive the gunfire in the background, so people are training. Shaw six arc. This is an Ultradyne UD3 or UD3 chassis. So this is built a little bit more for PRS. This is built a little bit more for PRS because when I was parting this out, I wasn't sure what direction I wanted to go. Well, I decided to go for something that's a little bit more bench rest orientated. So I have a spigot attached that extends the arc rail because these rests are going to have to get upgraded. I'm I've moved beyond those, I guess we'll go ahead and say. Uh, they, but the, for the stock, this is a BCM tube with an Amend 2 stock. Works out really well for my use case. And I forgot to mention, this trigger is a Trigger Tech Special. I can set this for as low as one pound, but I think right now it's set for two and a half. What else are we missing? Oh, the scope. This is a Bushnell Engage. It's a second focal plane with a very, very fine crosshairs. I've been liking a lot. And it's uh, 6 to 24 power with a 50 millimeter objective lens. I might be getting an upgrade here soon, but we'll see. Anyway, what are we firing today? We are using tech with Barnes match burners, 105 grains. And we're doing some gross powder charge increments. So we're basically doing an OCW load or a powder ladder test, however you want to work it. It's a basic load workup. Let's go check out our targets. Okay, so quick recap. Tack at an overall length of 2.200, going from 25.5 grains all the way up to 27 and a half. 27 and a half is pretty close to the maximum charge for a bolt gun. Don't use these in an AR. I said, let's take a look at the targets. This is our minimum charge, not bad. This is 26 grains, four shots, all kissing. Nice. Here, 26 and a half, three with some vertical, and then one outlier. Here, things kind of tighten up for the core group, but we shoot one out down below. Then, for our final charge, we have a huge shift to the point to impact up. I'm not too surprised because we went slightly down here. We were working our way down, and but we're shooting ones out to the bottom. So, to me, it makes sense that suddenly we would whip back up, and this opens up to Looks like a little over an inch, but honestly, I'm not going to complain if that's our worst group of the day because, wow. So overall, I'm really impressed with this Shaw Cogger action. I haven't even bothered trying to find the jam yet. I haven't even bothered doing bullet seating depths. Uh, I haven't even bothered doing any bullet seating depths or figuring out the maximum overall length I can load. I've just been sticking around to 2.2 inches, which works great for my AR with this bullet. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Now I just need to chronograph these. 